Hello. Today we are going to walk through Business Central's Multi-Entity Extension. Multi-Entity Management Extension is a tool to help centralize all your purchase orders, receipts, payroll, invoices, and other transaction data across multiple entities into one singular instance. Business Central does not natively support multi-entity, so we at Ramp have implemented the MEM extension as a workaround to activate multi-entity customers onto Ramp via our integration. This is a very specific to the binary stream MEM plugin and will not work with other MEM solutions. Please refer to our pre-config guide for details, requirements, and further instruction. Today, you will learn how to set up and configure the MEM extension. To begin, Let's install the extension. From the search bar, find Extension Management and scroll until you come across Multi-Entity Management. Here is where you can install and begin to configure the Multi-Entity extension. After installing the extension, we will search for Multi-Entity Management Setup. Here we get an overview of security and general permissions. Click into multi-entity setup and we are brought to our dimensions page, which represents the different entities for our business. We can easily add a new dimension as well as click into and learn more about the entity setup within one of our already pre-configured dimensions, such as billing information, and more. Next, we will configure the permission settings for a user. By default, there are user restrictions on each entity. So you will need to give yourself access to each entity because it will not be there by default. In user security setup, we have the option to assign a specific user to one or all entities or select a specific entity and assign users accordingly. From the Source tab, we can filter by different company codes and select the appropriate one to assign users to. The Business Central MEM extension also allows us to restrict certain categories and vendors to be coded on transactions. In Multi-Entity Management Setup, we can turn on Vendor Security, among other security categories. Now that we've turned on vendor security, let's take a look at how to set up vendor restrictions. Please note that vendor security is not turned on by default. In the MEM master security settings, here we can assign vendors to different company codes or our entities. In this example, for company code 200, that of Los Angeles, let's select three vendors, Slack, Deckhand, and Salesforce, allowing them to be coded to different transactions. Let's take a look at an example. Under our general journals, let's take a look at an unfilled journal entry that we can begin to code. As we navigate to the transaction at the bottom of our screen, when we go to code the vendor, we see the same three options and only those options from which we just configured in our vendor management setup. Transitioning over to Ramp, let's take a look at how easy it is to configure the Ramp and Business Central connection. Like all of our accounting connections, we begin on the accounting tab by clicking Get Started. Here, we choose from and select the associated ERP. We are then prompted to select the appropriate Business Central environment, in this case, the MEM extension. Grant access to a few more permissions, and we can quickly connect Business Central to RAMP. Entities can be controlled within RAMP under the Settings tab. Here, we see the primary entity coming from Business Central. We can easily change the associated subsidiary by scrolling, finding the subsidiary list, 
and choosing from the pre-configured entities within Business Central. Like all of our entities, we can also jump into Payments and see our default payment accounts, as well as our reimbursement bank accounts. Transitioning to our Accounting tab, we can enter settings and begin to configure and look at the different accounting fields that have either already been synced over into RAMP or ones that are not used in RAMP that we can begin to enable. Here, we may also configure different coding rules. And finally, sync settings. That concludes our quick overview of the multi-entity Business Central extension. Please refer to our pre-config guide for details, requirements, and further instruction. Thanks for watching.